Okay, welcome back. Different angle. Yeah, get your attention. Give me the thumbnail. Thumbs up. Yeah, come on now. Subscribe and more. Give me that thumb. I want your thumb. Give me the thumb. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so welcome back. Normal services resumed. And this figure is um, an oldie. Oldie but goodie. It's not stock as nothing is in my collection and um, if it's stock I don't really want it <laughs> I always have to mess with some something or other swap a head or you know customize it or repaint it or ruin it you know some people would say oh you've just devalued that figure by whatever um I've resist resisted the urge on a few uh, like my m65 Rambo um yeah, I want to recast the head on that, and yeah, anyway, that's another story. I want to recast it, repaint it, and uh, yeah, you know, I've been wanting to do it for a while, just been, you know, distracted, like I've just got distracted there now. The point of this video was to show an old figure, and uh, I think that's going to be my format from now on. Something new, something old, something blue. <laughs> nah, something, you know, just something a little bit more interesting. I've got quite a lot of old figures that I realised I haven't shown for a long time. So this, I think, there is an original review of this back about seven years ago, and that's it. And you, I can post that link below, and you can go and check out how this looked before. There's a few better um, reviews on YouTube. <laughs> my review seven years ago isn't much better than my current style but it is a bit more flat and a bit more monotone i'm trying i'm trying to add a little bit more personality into these videos and uh chat more bullshit which is what people seem to like so i'll just keep chatting shit and uh yeah welcome to new subscribers if you want to go back check out some of my old videos and um, check out some of the collection see what you want me to revisit got a better camera now maybe I'm a bit more articulate a bit more confident I don't know maybe I'm just just taking the ball by the horns and doing these things while I can seize the day and all that carp dm and uh because you don't you never know if you've got tomorrow so you know a bit depressing I know but live for today that's basically what that means and that's what I intend to do and uh, I wanted to show this figure. It was looking a bit dead and buried. <laughs> um, it was sitting on a shelf high up in a damp room. And the the shirt was getting mildewy. And I don't know if it was from the previous owner. And it had never been properly washed. When I got it, it was kind of tired looking. And uh, I did I did wash it, I think. And change, wash the clothing and stuff over the years. But I think uh, the previous owner was a smoker. And it had some like yellow dots. Yeah. So, I mean, if it was mildew, it would be more greeny black. So yellow would suggest smoke. I was a smoker back in the day, but I never really smoked around my figures because they stink. So why would you want to do that? So anyway. So yeah, I think... So anyway, I bleached this shirt. I didn't bleach the trousers, obviously, because they probably lose their colour. But the shirt, obviously, being white, give it a good bleaching. Um, use some washing up powder, uh, liquid, whatever, and uh, scrubbing brush. Some of the dots were still remaining, so I went back and reapplied bleach. Let it soak for a, about half an hour. Washed it again and it all come clean. Areas around the collar were a bit yellow. Around the cuffs had a few like yellow dots. Around the shoulders were very yellowy. So yeah, I think it was where the nicotine had settled, you know, from smoking. So another bit of advice, if you are a smoker, do not smoke around these figures because if you ever intend to sell them down the line or you want to preserve them as they are, nicotine uh, will destroy these things. Dust 
you can deal with. You can dust it, you can wash the clothes, fine. Nicotine on anything coloured, obviously you don't want to bleach it. Whites, you get away with it, luckily, on this one. But uh, yeah, do not smoke around any things, collectibles that you want to keep because it will devalue them or make them uh, not very desirable anyway. So yeah, this one, as I say, is an old figure. I can't remember exactly when it was uh, produced by Sideshow. But I did swap the body. This figure did have a, um, the neck, did have a neck on the head, which I removed rather rough, <laughs> rather crudely, as you can see. So if I do recast this head, whoops, which I plan to do, because I do want to preserve the original paintwork on this one I think it's you know, it's got a bit of a charm of its own the hands as well are the original hands um, and I, what I've done is I've, I've removed them from the sideshow body and then I've I've attached them to this uh, body which is a an old wrestling body made by Jack Pacific and um, I've used them before in several customs they were the only alternative back in the day if you wanted an Arnie T800 type figure they're very limited in articulation but unless you were going to start cutting up a Hot Toys body or you know not cutting it up but you know um, breaking the figure down and if you could get the bodies they were expensive and they still are but now there's alternatives but back in the day I say you, you could only get some, some, something like this really cheap if you just wanted to kit bash something and so i've used it the jack's body on here which it's not very articulated it's got you know up and down and left backwards and forwards and it's got some bend in the elbows but it's like the you know it's crap really so i want to put a better body on it um now richard kill the actor he wasn't really that buff he wasn't that sort of arnie physique he was broad shouldered and he was long armed and he was bigger than average men like in his width but he wasn't like uh, super muscly so i want to maybe get something um <sighs> not sure but i might have to you know get a few bodies and frankenstein them I mean, he would have been a good Frankenstein. He's got that height and Jaws was very much that sort of imposing villain. So this is a really good figure. I mean, the clothing and the head sculpt for the time, it was, it's got to be early 2000s, I'd say. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's got to be about 15, 20 years old, this, this release from Sideshow. You can look it up. Uh, the box art is really nice. Actually, I can probably check on the stand. No. 2003. Hmm. So it is nearly 20 years old. Oh, there it goes. So yeah, 2003 and... Uh, my camera's had a few too many. So 2003, the outfit's, you know, what you expect for that sort of time. Um, it's quite thick material. It's got the flared trousers, which are nice. The shoes are quite nicely sculpted. No socks, sculpted laces. Let me uh, zoom in, give you some shoe action. nice I mean there isn't a lot to show on this figure it doesn't come with a hell of a lot so the box art is really nice but it's in the loft so I have to go up there and dig that out at some point but yeah I just wanted to show it it's um you know probably big chief will do this this character and they've done quite a few of the James Bond line 
and this one I wanted to show because it needs a bit of updating as you can see the paint applications probably don't look that bad on camera but you know they are very dated very plasticky it's just literally grey plastic there's slight shine to it but you can see the weave of the fabric is quite thick on the shirt and the trousers there as is you know the quality for that period things have got a lot more refined over the years the um the materials used are more in scale for one six scale back in the, uh, the day with sideshow these were good and i think the sculpt underneath all that blusher <laughs> And those mad eyebrows I think there is a good sculpt in there you see the style of painting the uh, reflections on the eyeballs it's come there's something that really dates a figure like this with the paint job the teeth are done um, quite well the metal teeth looks pretty uh, good so if I was going to repaint it I'd leave them alone I'd touch up the eyes and uh, then I'd redo the skin tone and the eyebrows are a little bit action man blocky or G.I. Joe if you're in America are a little bit too uh, caterpillary but yeah the sculpt is there the likeness is there even if it is a bit caricaturish yeah I should really should have there uh, that's a bit rough that neck but I could there uh, if I do recast that I, I can um, I can fix that I can add some extra thickness or length to the neck it's just that with this type of neck on this body it's quite thick so that's why that's like that it's a bit chipped so I say I would like to reserve this just as a this was the first this and the uh, Rambo first blood were the first figures that I picked up um in one six scale from a collector in oh where was it now Bexley Heath so and uh, I remember the guy he kept saying everything was uh, tasty. <laughs> He kept saying everything was tasty. He had a he had a statue of um of this uh, Hellboy, the blue you know the fish guy out of Hellboy. He had a I think it was a sideshow statue. Oh yeah, very tasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just he, he was he was a bit of a geezer. So uh, yeah, I swapped him uh, an AVP McFarlane Alien and Scar. Uh, double set for the first blood figure which I think he wanted 100 quid for back then and this one I picked up for 40, 40 quid boxed both boxed and uh, yeah he was definitely a smoker because the first blood box the inner tray was a uh, very nicotine drenched or whatever smoke smoker fired which you know never bothered me because I was a smoker and uh, but yeah I can understand non-smokers really hating anybody that smokes around their collection and then sells it on I've seen it still happens today people buying stuff and returning it stinking of smoke it's like you know you can't buy a figure get it on trial for a week smoke around it you know eat your dinner get bean juice on it or whatever <laughs> and then say no nah, actually no nah, i don't want it and send it back some people got more neck than giraffe anyway i hope you've liked oh i haven't even really talked about this have i i mean like it comes with a parachute the backpack it's got the levers there and the reserve chute there that's metal 
that's plastic, but this little bit here is metal, it's spring. Um, comes with the goggles, I could show you them on his nut. <sighs> kind of gives it if you could see it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not a bad figure. I'm, I'm glad I, I um, cleaned him up and I uh, say so these hands, they just. They're just literally <laughs> detachable. So that's how Sideshow put their figures together. It was on a normal body and then they just extended the arms with this type of thing. And obviously this bit wasn't in there, but I stuck that in there and then jabbed it up there. So now this is all the rage now. You can get these type of slightly better, but you know, to get rid of the wrist joints see on their one six kit they're selling i think they're a bit longer and they uh, attach to the the figure and then you've got that option of you know seamless wrist joints which is i say it's not a new idea 2003 you know so what else to say about it it comes with the little wear uh, ultimator is it for uh Checking out how high you are, <laughs> and uh, or how low you are. More importantly, it's like I ain't got a fear of heights. I've got a fear of falling and hitting the ground. That's what I've got a fear of. Um, yeah, and this the back the parachute is kind of like a silky material. It's very nice. So you know. Sideshow, once upon a time, done good figures. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't really, you know. They do, they do still do some good figures, but I haven't got any of them. I've got uh, the Snake Pliskin, which was shithead sculpt. Um, a lot of problems with that figure. Crap body. Um, but you know the outfit was done okay and the accessories were okay even though they were very fiddly and the body uh, everything falls apart with that what else have I got a sideshow leather face another one they didn't really use the right type of body on that figure but um, what it come with the chainsaw and the hammer you know it wasn't bad for the time I'll say this one is from around about the same time it's decent. It's decent with a body swap. I'm saying we'll put it on a better body. Something, some sort of Frankenstein mishmash. Uh, recast the head, repaint the head, and uh, yeah, it's nice to have some of you know childhood memories. You know, he was a bad guy, but he was a he was a apparently from what everyone says on online. And in interviews, he just seems like he seemed like a really genuine, gentle giant. And uh, I, I just love the role of Jaws that he played. I mean, that's the only role I know him for. But yeah, he was brilliant. He was brilliant in those films. So yeah, just thought this would uh, be of interest to some people. And if not, sorry for taking up so much of your time. But uh, I'll let you get back to reality now. And uh Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for new subscribers and old subscribers alike sticking with me. And uh, hopefully there'll be many more videos to come. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.